I'm Casey Claiborne and thanks for watching this Crime Watch YouTube exclusive where we take a look back at recent crime stories that have been making headlines in our area. Hayes County Crime Stoppers is asking for help finding people wanted for domestic violence and stalking related charges. They say the hope is to bring closure to the victims. Fox 7 Austin's Crime Watch reporter Meredith Aldis has the story. Hayes County Crime Stoppers and local law enforcement agencies are standing with victims and survivors of domestic violence and calling on the community to locate more than 40 perpetrators of these crimes. These are the faces of Hayes County most wanted fugitives. They all have charges of domestic violence or stalking. These are all very serious warrants. And they haven't been caught. That can be a very scary thing for these victims and these survivors is, is knowing that they're always looking over their shoulders, especially if they don't know whatever happened to the person that, that assaulted them. Hayes County Crime Stoppers is asking for the public's help finding them. Maybe getting these individuals into custody will give them a peace of mind in order to, to start that process to to go to not feel scared whenever they go to work or go take the kids to school or decide that they want to go on a vacation to the beach. And the Hayes Caldwell Women's Center works to keep victims safe. The most dangerous time for a survivor is during the process of leaving um, their abuser or after they've left. The Hayes Caldwell Women's Center provides counseling and crisis intervention for survivors of domestic or dating violence. Last year, they served almost a thousand family violence survivors in Hayes and Caldwell counties. We work in tandem together to try to bring um, accountability for the offense that happens and we want them to have a sense of justice and know that they're not alone and that they have that support from our organization, from our community and our criminal justice partners. So they can start healing. If you have any information about where these suspects may be, call Hayes County Crime Stoppers anonymously. And that's what Crime Stoppers is about, is, is keeping uh, the tipsters safe, and but also getting these offenders, you know, trying to get them in custody so that way they're not offending again. The number is 1-800-324-TIPS. Meredith Aldis, Fox 7 Austin Crime Watch. Austin police have identified a man who died in police custody as 27-year-old Reese Samuel Brown. It happened early morning on October 3rd. 911 callers reported seeing Brown distressed and walking through traffic on Research Boulevard near Duval Road. Police say they tried to talk with Brown, but he was not receptive to their commands. They say Brown injured himself with a metal object, and an officer tased him in an effort to prevent further injury. EMS tried to save him, but Brown ultimately died at the scene. APD says the investigation continues into this incident and body camera video will be made available within the next two weeks. The Austin Police Department is asking for the public's help finding an SUV belonging to a murder victim. They're looking for this vehicle, a blue 2016 Toyota 4Runner with the license plate reading KYVAS in Victor 3765. Austin Police are still investigating the death of 33-year-old Melissa Davis. Davis's body was found on September 29th after the Austin Fire Department responded to a small grass fire on Mesa Drive. This is an ongoing investigation and may not have many details released. People who live in the neighborhood were surprised to hear there was a homicide. This is obviously a residential neighborhood. Um, I don't believe we've had actually a murder out in this area this, uh, in this area this year. If you believe you've seen Melissa Davis's car, call the Austin Crime Stoppers hotline. A reward of up to $1,000 is being offered for any information that leads to an arrest. Austin police say at least two people were injured after a shooting in downtown Austin. The shooting happened around 1 o'clock in the morning on October 9th near the intersection of 7th Street and I-35. A DPS trooper witnessed the shooting and arrested a suspect. Austin police got reports of two people at a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. No other details have been released so far. Police are looking for a man accused of stealing a dog from its owner's driveway in East Austin. It happened back in August, and the couple is heartbroken. Fox 7 Austin Crime Watch reporter Meredith Aldis spoke with a couple who say their dog is old and needs medication, and they just want him home so they can take care of him. You can see just how confused and panicked he is. This is the last photo the guesses are clinging to of their 16-year-old dog, Bentley. 
On August 31st, at around 8.30 in the evening. We let him out like we usually do, and after about 15 minutes, he hadn't come back to the door. They looked around in the Montopolis neighborhood and couldn't find him. After watching the ring doorbell camera footage, they saw a man take him. Protect your dogs. They're not even safe in your gate. A couple hours later, Bentley was spotted in a store on First and Stastny in South Austin. Sure enough, this guy was just shopping around holding our dog in a basket. Austin police says the man in these photos is a person of interest. The guesses say they found this footage themselves. It took weeks for APD to even take down their information. We went to the police headquarters downtown to actually file a report and they informed us that there were no officers actually available to take a report. The police cannot keep up with the amount of pet petty crime that's happening in this neighborhood. The guesses have lived in the neighborhood for seven years. It's gotten worse. It hasn't gotten better. So the guesses are moving. We're hoping to move to a <laughs> a place where when crimes happen, they're punished. And, you know, to dissuade potential criminals from ruining people's lives. As this was the last straw. A lot of it's the unknown. That's just haunting, not knowing what happened, is he alive, is he with another family, but also just feeling violated at the same time. The search continues for a missing Cedar Park man who police say was the victim of a shooting in Round Rock. Officers were called to the parking lot of the Walmart on East Palm Valley Boulevard on October 6th after getting a call about a suspicious vehicle in the area. When they got there, police confirmed the vehicle belonged to 30-year-old Sean Joseph. Investigators determined Joseph had been shot the night before and taken from the scene by the suspect. The suspect in the shooting, 31-year-old Royce Loggins, was arrested. New details have been released about a deadly shooting at a North Austin senior living community. The victim has been identified as 71-year-old Curtis Caldwell. Police are now saying Caldwell attacked a man who shot him and the men knew each other. Police first got to the villages at Fiskville Apartments just after 3.30 in the afternoon on October 6th. They found a gravely injured Caldwell with bullet wounds. EMS managed to get him to a nearby hospital where he later died. So far, no charges have been filed. The investigation is ongoing and anyone with information should call Austin police. U.S. Marshals have arrested a man in connection to a deadly shooting in San Marcos late last month. Members of the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force have arrested 18-year-old Ray Robert Sines Jr. in South Austin. Authorities believe Signs killed 41-year-old Nathaniel Lamart Hudson. On September 30th, San Marcos police were called out to an apartment complex on Highway 123. When they got there, they found Hudson with gunshot wounds. He died at the scene. Investigators believe Signs Jr. and Hudson knew each other. And finally, police have arrested a Texas murder suspect in northern New Mexico. Police arrested 28-year-old Kayla Griffin in Bloomfield. According to arrest documents, Griffin was arrested for both an open container and no driver's license. Meanwhile, Griffin was wanted back in the Lone Star State in connection to a robbery turned murder. On September 30th, dispatch told Dallas police a woman with a gunshot wound to the head was pleading for help at a residential neighborhood. When officers got there, the critically injured woman directed them to the home she had said she had just escaped from. Inside, police found two men tied up including 30-year-old De Leon Williams, who was dead. Williams died from a gunshot wound. Police say all three of the victims knew Griffin, but have not released what led up to this deadly robbery. Griffin is expected to be brought back to Texas and charged with capital murder. Thanks for watching the Fox 7 Austin Crime Watch YouTube exclusive. Our Crime Watch stories run each Monday on Fox 7 Austin News at 9. If you missed them, you can watch anytime on our new Fox Local Connected TV app. It's free to download and you can watch on Roku, Android TV, Apple TV, and Fire TV. For more on the stories highlighted in this episode, you can head to our website, fox7austin.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Fox 7 Austin YouTube channel.